for logistics and supply chain management. Management Information System is a system of records and reports used to consolidate, analyze, validate, and display data from levels of the logistics decision maker and supply chain officers. MIS or Management Information Systems for Logistics includes elements of stock on hand, supplier data, purchase orders status, item inquiry, shipment status, pending transaction, and etc. Including shipment status and information about the cost of commodities that we purchase from outside suppliers. So the MIS will give you all this information to make it visible to other functional departments such as accounting, purchasing, finance, and users or sometimes sales but uh, there are times that we don't give information to sales people because the stock on hand is confidential for our inventory. The example I have written here, I have prepared here is the item inquiry. The item inquiry, if the end user wants to know the balance on hand or the status of a certain commodity, they have to enter the item code and automatically the item description will be shown, including the balance on hand, the unit of measure as kg as kilogram, and the different location they are located or scattered. So in this sample, yes, location AO1, AO2, AO3, AO1, 3,000 kilograms, AO2, 400 kilograms, and AO3, location has 300 kilograms, a total of 1,000. Now, I would like to show you the getting the balance on hand through documents or documentation. Usually, traditionally, when we use the manual uh, system, we have the receiving report once we receive the item from outside suppliers. And these items received will be recorded on bin cards. So we can get the balance on hand or the quantity that we have in the warehouse. An example here that I have prepared for you guys is a purchase and receipt transaction. This purchase transaction is also at the same time a receiving transaction because you have to enter here the PO number. Once you enter the PO number, automatically it will show the supplier name including the items that we have ordered from that supplier. Indicated here PO number, date, supplier code, and then line item number item code and the unit of measure on order quantity plus receive quantity in order to balance the quantity we ordered versus what we have received. Another information that I have prepared for you is PO inquiry or the purchase order inquiry. The purchase order inquiry is a module that will tell the end user or the purchaser the status of one PO to a certain supplier. An example here is PO or, PO or purchase order number X0901. The supplier is Stanley Marketing PH. The PO date was December 10, 2019. Indicated the format of the PO, you will see here there is a line number. Line number here is, here is very critical because this is an indicator what the items are pendings and what the items have been completed. So we have, let's say, item 1, 2, and 3. Uh, there are times that we have item 1 to 100. So we could hardly receive or trace its individual item. Let's say there are times that they delivered line item number 88. So in the line item number, we can minimize the hunt and search operation for that data by inputting the line item number instead of stock number. So the critical information required by the system is put the purchase order and everything will be shown. So the quantity ordered and the quantity received are all shown here. This example PO 
indicates that it is completed already all delivered so accounting has to pay now for this certain supplier okay now another information that i have prepared and vital to the requirements of supply chain people and logistics operation is the summary of purchase order for a certain month an example here is january 2023-20 this year Indicated on this information are supplier's name, supplier code, and supplier ranking. The ranking that you can see here is ABC Marketing is certified level. The highest supposed to be is preferred level. And DISO is conditional. Therefore, DISO has to complete other requirements in order to be certified by the company as a certified external vendor. However, guys, there are some challenges in MIS. If you remember before that software is not the ultimate solution to the problem in the operations of logistics and supply chain. It's still people. That's why the common challenges in management information system is poor re record keeping being done by encoder, incomplete or unupdated stocks and issuances records so it, it means to say even we have the best system the entry of transactions should be real time and accuracy accuracy is one of the benefits by this MIS another common challenge is incomplete or poor quality reports generated by the system because of the encoder incomplete because the entry is incomplete and the data is not moving up or down the system it means to say the data is not aligned to the requirements of the functional department like accounting inventory control department purchasing and finance guys i hope I have given you the clear information about the MIS for logistics and supply chain. If you have any queries, don't hesitate to email me. My email is indicated here on the channel, including the telephone number. Thank you very much for listening.